Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to explain the topic Valence Bond Theory. First of all, the origin of Valence Bond Theory. Alfred Warner considered the bonding in coordination compounds as the bonding between a Lewis acid and a Lewis base. Here, which is donate electron pair, it is Lewis base as well as which is accept electron pair, it is Lewis acid. Alfred Warner's approach is useful in explaining some of the observed properties of coordination compound. However, properties such as color, magnetic property, etc. of complex could not be explained on the basis of his approach. Following Warner theory, Linus Pauling, he proposed the valence bond theory which assumed that the bond formed between the central metal atom and the ligand is purely covalent bond. Next, valence bond theory. According to this theory, the bond formed between the central metal atom and the ligand is due to the overlap of filled ligand orbitals containing a lone pair of electron with the vacant hybrid orbitals of the central metal atom. Main assumptions of valence bond theory. The ligand and metal bond in a coordination complex is covalent in nature. It is formed by sharing of electron between them to form a central metal atom and ligand covalent bond. Then, each ligand should have at least one filled orbital containing a lone pair of electrons. Next, in order to accommodate the electron pairs donated by the ligands, the central metal ion present in a complex provide required number, it is a coordination number of vacant orbitals. In these vacant orbitals of central metal atom, undergoes hybridization, the process of mixing of atomic orbitals of comparable energy to form equal number of new orbitals, it's called hybridized orbitals with same energy. The vacant hybridized orbitals of the central metal ion linearly overlap with the filled orbitals of the ligands to form coordination covalent sigma bonds between the metal and the ligand. The hybridized orbitals are directional and their orientation in space gives a definite geometry to the complex ion. Look at this table. The hybridization of S orbital 1 electron, P orbital 1 electron, totally 2 electrons. So the coordination number 2, it is linear geometry. Example, copper chloride, silver cyanide. Next, the coordination number 3, so totally 3 electron hybridization, S orbital 1, P orbital 2, the geometry trigonal planar. Likewise, coordination number 4, it is having 2 different geometry. The sp3 hybridization, it is having tetrahedral geometry as well as dsp2 square planar geometry. Next, 5 coordination number, the hybridization dsp3. So here, it is the trigonal bipyramidal geometry. Next, the coordination number 6. It is having two different way of complexes. The shape, it is similar. D2SP3. It is octahedral in inner orbital complex. The next one, SP3D2. The octahedral in outer orbital complex. In the octahedral complexes, if the N-1D orbitals are involved in hybridization, then they are called inner orbital complexes or low spin complexes or spin pad complexes. If the ND orbitals are involved in hybridization, then such complexes are called outer orbital or high spin or spin free complexes. Here the N is represented principal quantum number of the outermost cell. The complexes containing a central metal atom with unpaired electrons are paramagnetic. If all the electrons are paired, then the complex will be diamagnetic. Ligands such as carbon monoxide, cyanide, ene and ammonia present in the complexes is causes pairing of electrons present in the central metal atom. Such ligands are called strong filled ligand. Greater the overlapping between the ligand orbitals and the hybridized metal orbital, greater the bond strength. Let us illustrate the valence bond theory by considering the following examples. 
illustration 1 the complex nickel tetra carbonyl the central metal atom of outer electronic configuration in nickel 3d8 4s2 outer orbitals of metal atom d orbital having five cells s orbital having one cell so here 3d8 so first of all you need to fill in each cell one electron then after you need to fill the second electron in the remaining three cells the next one s orbital you need to fill two electrons in a single cell nature of ligand carbonyl strong fill ligand causes the pairing of 4s electron with 3d electrons in the metal outer orbital of metal atom the two electrons in the 4s orbit it will shifted to the d orbital so that 3d10 electrons in the d orbital then that the 4s and 4p is empty now the hybridization coordination number 4 the hybridization sp3 s orbital one cell p orbital three cells the hybridized orbitals of the metal atom in the complex the 4p as well as 4s it's filled with the hybridized orbitals through that the form of geometry tetrahedral complex the magnetic property number of unpaired electron zero hence it is diamagnetic the magnetic property mu s is equal to root of n n plus 2 so that the n number of unpaired electron the number zero so the mu s also zero illustration 2 complex nickel tetracyanide central metal atom and its outer electronic configuration nickel 2 plus 3d8 4s0 so that the outer orbital of metal ion 3d8 and 4s0 4p also zero so that the nature of ligand cyanide strong fill ligand causes the pairing of 3d electron in the metal outer orbital of metal ion in presence of ligand 3d8 so that the d orbital one cell empty s orbital one cell empty p orbital three cells empty so that the hybridization coordination number 4 the hybridization type dsp2 so totally four number of ligands are filled with this place the hybridized orbital of the metal ion the complex 3d8 dsp2 hybridized orbital so that the geometry is square planar magnetic property number of unpaired electron zero hence it is diamagnetic the magnetic moment nu s is equal to root of n into n plus 2 so that the n value number of unpaired electron zero so that the mu s also zero illustration 3 the complex ferric cyanide central metal ion its outer electronic configuration fe3 plus 3d5 4s0 so that the outer orbital of metal ion 3d5 each cell having 1 1 electron then that 4s 4p are empty the nature of ligand cyanide strong fill ligand causes the pairing of 3d electrons in the metal outer orbital of metal atom in presence of ligand 3d5 so that the d orbital having five cells hybridized orbital of the metal ion in the complex 3d5 the remaining two cells d orbital will fill the ligand electrons as well as s1 p3 like that d2 sp3 hybridized orbitals the geometry octahedral in this complex inner d orbitals are involved in hybridization hence the complex is called inner orbital complex the magnetic property here also having one unpaired electron so it is paramagnetic the magnetic moment mu s is equal to root of n into n plus 2 the n value 1 so that the value of mu s 1.732 bm next limitation of valence bond theory even though valence bond theory explain many of observed properties of complexes it still has following limitations it does not explain the color of the complex it consider only the spin only magnetic moment and does not consider the other components of magnetic moment it does not provide a quantitative explanation as to why certain complexes are inner orbital complexes and the other are outer orbital complexes for the same metal for example iron hexacyanide is diamagnetic low spin whereas iron tetrafluoride is the paramagnetic high spin thank you for watching kindly subscribe and support my channel